Oh hey guys, Simon here and we're playing Siberia 2. So at the end of the last video we finally made our way into the monastery. Um wait a minute. Oh there I am. So I'm uh, pretending to be a monk and we're in the monastery. Let's talk to this guy. See if he's gonna freak out that I'm a woman. Um good evening, sir. Uh, he's freaking out. He is freaking out, and he's not gonna talk to me. All right. What is this? What is this thing? Um, matches. All right, good. What is that? I need something else to activate it. Okay. This is sieve of some sort. Um. That's a bellows. And I need something else to activate it. Huh. I have no idea what this is. I think this makes something. There might be wax in there and it makes sort of a a wax cylinder or some sort. I don't know what, what this stuff is. Alright, let me just um move on. We did steal the matches though. Which is good. I'm I'm good at stealing things. Wow, this is cool. Completely unnecessary, but cool. Like, structurally unnecessary, I think. But hey, what do I know, right? It's not like I studied architecture for like seven years. Uh, what is... Oh, I can start a fire here. This looks like, um... Kindling. Yes, it is. But why would I want to start a... Hawaii? This stuff's from Hawaii, really? Alright, well, I'm just gonna leave and not start a fire yet. That's cool. So I think this is significantly more impressive than real monasteries. But we'll give them a pass, because, you know, it's a video game. Um, we can go this way, we can go this way. We can go back that way, we can talk to these guys. Interesting angle too, like why do you have the camera angle here? And like, we can't see them. Apparently they, they just waved me away. They don't, don't want to talk to me. Let's come this way first. See what's here. Hmm. It's a bit of snow. It's a door. The, the old Art Nouveau sort of thing. <laughs> Similar. Everything's from the same architectural era, it seems like. Everything in the game. Oh, I can go in. Good. Let me just shimmy my way in here. This looks like a chapel. I can't steal anything though. Oh wait, what's that? Hmm. Nothing I can do. It's locked. A key. I can't do that, alright. Let's get out of there and run that way. Um, yeah, it's a chapel. I can go forward or go back. I can't actually pick up anything, can I? No. And I can't look at anything else in detail, neither. Alright, fair enough. Hello? Anybody there? Nope. Or maybe... Excuse me. What? A woman? Women are expressly prohibited. What the devil are you doing here, woman? My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from New York. Excuse me. But I absolutely must speak to you. And your monks wouldn't let me in. Miss Walker, your female presence in this dwelling of monastic retreat is unwelcome. It is very troubling. 
please leave quickly. Um, let's press the issue. Please forgive my slightly cavalier methods to get to see you, Father. But my cause is just, I assure you. I have no need of assurance, my girl. Remember, you are here beneath the gaze of the Almighty. Okay, what's well, so are you, bro? I have a friend who is really sick. In the village, I was told that... We must all brave the ordeal the Lord sends us, my child. Well, why did the Lord put you here, if you're not to heal people, bro? My friend is named Hans Vorlberg. He has devoted his life to making fantastic mechanical machines. His automaton soothed the harsh daily labor of the people of his day, and amused them, entertained them. He's a genius inventor, you know? Hmm. An inventor, you say? The inspiration of such people is often cowed to humility before the marvels of God's own creation. I have come to ask the assistance of the priest healer in the monastery. My friend is very unwell, and very old. Sometimes a body weary of life refuses treatment. That is why we here tend to the soul. From what element is your friend suffering? A high fever. It started with a kind of fit. He fell... Sometimes we have to just accept the inevitable, my child, and resign ourselves to the call of time. Or oh, sometimes you just have to heal people, bro. You don't understand. Maybe Hans is old and frail, but he has but one desire. To continue his journey. We have to learn how to meet our faith, my child. This is God's will. My friend needs treatment. You are the only one for miles around who can give him the care he needs. I need a sign from the Almighty or else I can do nothing for your friend. I am sorry, Miss Walker. I really need your help, Father. You're our only hope. My girl, I attend only to extreme cases, grave illness and madness. But this is an extreme case, Father. There is a rule, Miss Walker. You must respect it. Bring me the imprint of your friend's suffering. Okay. I know what you were telling me. I brought the shroud. Show me, my child. Right. We will go search for your friend. <laughs> that was easy. It's our man. He's got some. Canton? I can barely hear you. Mr. What news have you got? I, I talked to the hotel guys, Mr. Marson. She checked out a viral bat last week. Headed off with Hans Vorlberg. How is she? Seems her health is fine, Mr. Marson, but... Uh, what? Her behavior seems... Don't beat about the bush, Canton, please. Look, Mr. Marson, it's like this. I'm afraid that Miss Walker has been acting... Uh, how do you say it? Okay. Oh hey, I'm not wearing that robe anymore. Did you sleep well, my child? Yes, yes, thank you. How is Hans? Alas, you brought him to us so late, my child. I fear we cannot do much. We are going to concentrate on tending to his soul. What? What did you say? The man is worn and old. His final hour is upon him. But that's impossible. Your friend is dying. You must believe me, my child. You guys are so bad. Please take care of Hans, father, please. Torment yourself no longer, my girl. I will tend to the poor soul. 
Can I see him? No. I do not advise it. Deranged minds are often too addled by evil. And you could become contaminated by its sly malevolence. What are you doing? Look, contagion doesn't bother me. I've got to talk with him, you understand? The rules, Miss Walker. Remember the rules. No one talks to the sick. I just can't abandon Hans like that. I must see him immediately, you hear? Okay. So be it. Your friend is in the last chamber at the end of the corridor. I beseech thee, my girl. Pay no heed to the imprecations of a sick, delirious, dying man. I will wait for you in the chapel when everything is over. For the formalities, you understand. These guys are so bad. Alright, well... Let's go find them, I guess. We can go that way. Let's just go where he came from. I think he's down here. Or oh, I'm down there, so I think he's over here maybe? Oh, there he is. Now can I steal anything from your room, Hans? The table? Hmm. Cheese and dry bread. Yummy. We'll take them. Okay, we can't do anything on the table yet. Unless we can give him candy. We can set the table on fire, maybe. Alright. Oh, he wants his mammoths, probably. Hans? Hans, can you hear me? Kate, where are we? Don't you worry. You're in very good hands. We cannot carry on our journey in these conditions, Hans. You are ill. You have to be cared for. I... I must go, Kate Walker. I said I'd keep you company until we reach Siberia. I brought you here to be treated. We don't have the time, Kate. We've got... We've got to go to Siberia, Kate Walker. <laughs> Calm down, Hans, please. No! No! <laughs> Hans, we're at the monastery. Do you remember? In, in Valadilan, it is 7.15 p.m. Father is always punctual. He never stays at home. He always goes to the factory. He locks himself in his office and... No, Hans. Valadilan is where you were born. Here, we're in Romansburg. Valadilan is miles away. We're going to take care of you. Alexei, find Alexei Tukianov. Alexei Tukianov? Alexei, he has lived with the Yukals. He can cure me. Um, what? Bro, come in. Who is Alexei? An old monk, a friend. He knows about Yukal medicine. It seems you rate the Yukuls for their medicine. Yukul shaman medicine is very strong. Hans, all that shaman malarkey is nonsense. You know that. You don't say that. The Yukuls know a lot of things, Kate Walker. A lot of things. Kate's pretty rude about that. Why do you want me to find this monk, Alexei? Alexei? He can treat me. Hans. Do try to be reasonable. Nobody here can treat you better than the old patriarch. Alexei knows you call medicine. The old patriarch is an ass. Ha. <laughs> Pwned. So you really think this monk can cure you? Alexei can cure like the shaman. Shaman are the right doctors for me. <coughs> I'll be back soon. Okay, Kate. All right, well, let's go find Alexei. He's probably just outside. Or something. Hey, you. Where's Alexi? Hey, you like to eavesdrop? Eavesdrop? No. I clean and clean. That's all. I've just spoken to Hans. 
Ha, ha, and what news do you bring my sister? Um, he spoke to me of one of your brothers, named Alexei. Ah, Tempus Edax Rerum. <laughs> Brother Alexei is not of this world, my sister. Well, that sucks. So you don't know this Alexei, do you? No, no. <laughs> Omnus Homo Mendax. <laughs> Come on, you must know where Alexei is. <laughs> Mors Ultima Ratio. <laughs> Wait, that's it? Hey, come back, I'm not done talking to you. Wow, really? Um, that's a mammoth. Um, I can't read that though. Sister Alexei was a man of God and my friend. He lived away from the monastery for many years among the strange Yuko people and... The I can't read this. Can I get this out of the way? How do I... Scroll, can I just... Okay, stained glass mammoth. No, read it, read it, read it. Among the strange Yuko people and their stories of the great mammoths of old that were divine to them. I am no wise monk, far from it, but I have prayed to God long enough to understand that he takes many different forms in the imagination of men. This might help you. The key is in the light of the mammoth's eye. The key is in the light of the mammoth's eye. I have to take the mammoth somewhere. <laughs> 